have found all the turkeys. house payment from your truck on top of a hillside you know what's even crazier probably my hair so we're getting close getting excited it's a beautiful day today it's 65 degrees out quite a bit of wind but we don't have any rain so that's good there's a lot of a lot of cloud banks off to the west here and we're supposed to be getting rain the rest of the week but uh, hopefully it's just in patches and we're not going to be downpoured on all week That'll really make it tough, especially up here not knowing where I'm at. So, uh, I don't mind a little rain and a little, a little drizziness, drizzleness, and things like that. But uh, I'd rather it be just a nice spring rain. You know what I mean? So we'll see what we got here. Uh, seeing quite a bit of snow up on the top of the bluffs here so there's going to be quite a bit of snow left in those areas and down here in the forest i'm sure so just have fun forget about everything just have fun I hope this ain't the only way out of here. I am in trouble if it is. I think I am getting in way over my head down here. If it started raining, we wouldn't get out of there for a week. Well, we made it here. We, uh, found a spot here we think we can camp at, so there's good wood here if we need to build a fire. Uh, I don't know if we'll have to do that or not, but if we do, there's a couple holes here that we can use and some firewood laying around, so 
good good starting point anyway. So anyway, we've got this beautiful valley out in front of us here. We've got quite a few miles here that we can we can take off. And we can also see. So we can do a lot of glass from this point too. So really a, a prime spot to start anyway. All right, well, it's uh, about four in the morning on uh, Thursday morning. As you can tell, it's pretty chilly. I've got all my clothes on, and I'm still cold in here, so it's probably about 20, 27 degrees or so. We only brought the... Uh, the 30 degree sleeping bag, which we probably should have brought the zero. I thought about it and then I forgot to bring it. So, been a pretty chilly night and we didn't bring a lot of, didn't bring a lot of warm clothes. So that was kind of my fault, but we're, uh, we're gonna be socked in with uh, fog all morning anyway, so. Figured I'd get up and think our bacon's about done. We'll be about done here in a minute. Well, as you can see, we got a lot of fog here. Stay out. We're gonna follow this road out. Let's see if uh, we can't put eyes on something down here in one of these valleys. Now I'm in focus. Yeah, it should be good. Should be good. We're just gonna go on foot here today and look for trail tracks. Look for sign. We saw that big group up by that house in that feedlot, but uh, I can't believe that's the only turkeys in this area, so. Set the decoy up. We've got a down tree here that's going to be good cover. Gotta figure out where to put that decoy though. too so they could be quite a ways off 
It's hard to tell in these tree lines. Everything sounds so far away, but yet it could be right over the next ridge. There's a deer stand. Pretty nice stand, huh? We roosted, well we didn't go out and actually roost them, but we know exactly the area that they're in. It's just a matter of getting there with the blind, setting up, getting a couple good days. I don't know what tomorrow's supposed to bring, but if we can get, if we could have just got three days of nice, I think we might have had a shot. But I'm not going to give up quite yet. We're, uh, this is going to be Friday. Today will be Friday. I'm going to have Saturday and the morning of Sunday. And then we'll have to head home. Depending on what it's doing, if it's raining. Obviously, you don't want to be out in the rain when it's 30 some degrees, so I don't think we'll go down there if it's raining in the morning. But <laughs> if it's not raining and just blowing, probably take the blind down there and set it up. Well, let's try to get some sleep. Foggy morning and very chilly, but uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and we've heard him gobble two, two or three times this morning already. So I didn't really want to go down in there in the dark and the fog and get disoriented down there. So at least I got some daylight. The fog's still here, but that's gonna help me get in there without being seen. And uh, we're just gonna go for it. Now we're off. Give me sound off again. I just don't want to call until I'm absolutely sure. I know where he's at. What 
kind of in between where we heard them, where I heard them yesterday. So we're kind of in the happy middle. If it doesn't work, we can move down. I think today is going to actually be a nice day. Fingers crossed. The fog's starting to lift, so we got in here just in time. I'm going to throw out some calls here and see what happens. Well, we're eating lunch again, or dinner. We got chips, we got milk, we got our sandwich and some macaroni salad. And I really don't have to worry about going back out there and putting it back in the container because it's snowing right now. So all that stuff's gonna be nice and cool. I can just let it sit right there and not have to worry about it. Fortunately, I only have two days left. Tomorrow and Sunday. And Sunday's going to be a half day because I got to get out of here. But, uh... You know, normally I would probably leave I would have left a while back. I would have left a while back and just uh, saved my vacation, but every time I tell myself I'm gonna do that, I never do. I go back and I sit on my butt at home. So I guess I would rather sit on my butt out here and enjoy the outdoors than sit at home wasting time there and wasting vacation that way. At least this way I can say, you know, you gave it a shot. It just didn't pan out. Weather wasn't right, whatever. It was not counting on, it wasn't uh, saying anything about snow and sleet at first. It was just saying rain, light rain. So anyway, but it's, it's like 32 degrees right now, 30 degrees, 32, something like that. So it's just kind of sleety. Anyway, I'm carrying on. We'll catch you in the morning. All right, hey everybody. It's Saturday. And I'm really excited to get out and hunt. You know, I wish I could. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm dealing with. Saturday. Tomorrow's my last day. Oh my gosh, come on, zipper. Ah, look at this beautiful scene. I think our turkey hunt's pretty much over. We just gotta get out of here. But we're gonna set it out the next two days. We may take an extended couple days here. Uh, it's supposed to get into the 50s, so. And this is supposed to stop by noon today. It's only like 7 Oh. So I'm just making some coffee in there. I gotta get out of there so I don't get fumed out, but it's been too bad. 
yeah, that's what I'm dealing with now. So, you can see the truck here. Got about five, six inches of snow on the hood of that thing. That nice little, nice little, you can almost hide behind that. But anyway, my dilemma is, uh, yesterday we set up the blind down there about 1,500 yards. Actually, I can see down the valley now. So, the blind is down. I'll take you over here and show you. The blind is down in there. Man, wouldn't that be a story? Wouldn't that be a great story if we got a turkey in this crap? <clears throat> Winter Wonderland Turkey. That's what I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna name him Winter Wonderland Turkey. We're gonna get one tomorrow. If nothing else, we can see where they're tracking. <laughs> we, can, we can track the turkeys in this snow. So you're Jordan, right? Yep. Okay, Jordan. Sam. Sam. All right. All right. I want to do some filming so you guys know. So these guys came from where did you come from? St. Louis. St. Louis. Yep. <laughs> so I don't feel so bad driving four hours to get here. You guys drove what? That's twelve. Twelve hours. Twelve hours. Man. And then they get to the, they get to this point and they get snowed in. So. Yeah, I'm gonna take them down here. They're looking for their slam. And uh, we're gonna go down here and see if we can't strike something up and see what condition my blind's in. So, all right, let's go. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a hunt of a lifetime if we get something out of here. Yeah, there's, a, there's top fields up here that I saw at least one in yesterday, and I'm sure they're coming back, back and forth right in here. But yesterday, or Thursday, when I was walking clear down there, I was almost on top of them at one point. I mean, they were carrying on like crazy. And so I tried to get in on them, and then they shut up, and I lost them, but they were down in that big opening down there. They may be... It could be down there again, I don't know. I think I had a hand come in yesterday. I'm trying to stay as close as I can to it because I know they're not going to venture in here very far. It's definitely warming up to be nice. Loose guys over there. The blind got a little shorter than last night. Let's see the blind. the same thing if I had land like that. But. Yeah, he's got, he owns it all. I would think if it stays like this the next two or three days, it should be, should be good. dead black stumps are <laughs> that will play with your mind big time. Okay. Well, now that I know my blind's good, I might, uh, might head back up and you go down and then where that big cell tower is. Oh, yeah, the weatherman's full of shit. It was supposed to be just rainy today. 
or yesterday, and it just turned into. <laughs> I see a see a winter advisory on my phone. I'm like, oh, you gotta be shitting me right now. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Good to meet you guys. Hopefully, you have a. I'm sure I'll see you back up at the top. And if you decide you want to try to do it again tonight, I'll still be here. So, all right, thanks, guys. Right. Well. We're back in the blind after all this snowstorm and everything. It's really turned out to be a beautiful day. We'll see if the wind and stuff holds off. It looks like there's some other clouds coming out of the northwest, but uh, I think for the most part, we're pretty good right now. Jordan and Sam, the guys I met from St. Louis, uh, they just came back through here, so I think I'm going to give it a little bit of a break. There's crows flying around and carrying on, so we'll just let them do the footwork. See if they can't get something to chirp up. We're just going to sit tight here. It's nice and calm in this area. That's what I like. It's For the most part, it's broken up from the wind. Clouds are moving in a little bit again, but everything seems to be calming down and, and actually melting, so a lot of the trees are losing the snow off of them. In fact, I don't hardly see any snow in the treetops anymore, so it's moving off quick. We'll just see what happens here. Definitely trying to melt. It's nice being able to take the time here and just take in the scenery. And it. I'm glad I stuck it out because when you go home early, you always wonder what if I would have stayed, stuck it out. not fun going up and down these hills all the time, but at the end of the day, it's rewarding to be able to look at, look at what you've done, and, and uh, not a lot of people can do this stuff. So, I feel blessed. Oh, let's move on. 